Hey guys, me and Sonny just shot a video for his channel all about tracking. I thought it came out pretty well. By the way, we're on top of a mountain right now. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna roll that video for you guys. Hope you enjoy. All right, what's going on everybody? Sonny here, Strength by Sonny, author of, of Tyrants and Tellers. And while we were here on top of a mountain, I wanted to record a quick video on the topic of tracking. So tracking, it's probably one of the most important things that you can do from a success standpoint. So tracking, it basically means measuring, measuring your progress. So tracking, it applies towards uh, anything you want to improve, anything you're working on, whether it be business, how much money are you making, um, the fitness stuff, how much weight are you lifting, how much, how much weight are you losing if you're trying to diet, such as using the of Tyrants and Tellers diet. Uh, results. That's what it means at the end of the day, results. And I have here with me my good friend J Mo from J Mo Pickup. And one thing I really admire about J Mo and why he's so successful in so many different areas is because he is a, what I like to call a relentless tracker. So J Mo, we already know who you are. Tell us about some of these things uh, that you've tracked over the years. I know obviously the dating stuff, but tell us about tracking in general. All right, so the number of girls is one of the ones I'm famous for. Yeah. How many girls have you been with? Up to 807. Jesus. It's slowing down a little bit, though, because we're fucking yeah. working out and doing martial arts all the time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, uh, I think it's important to track. Like, if you were in sales, for instance, the best guys are going to be the guys that have the most sales closed in a year, right? So I was on a sales team just to kind of see how it applied to dating and pickup stuff. And the guys that I wanted to learn from were the guys that were closing the most sales in a year. There was plenty of people giving advice, but I would ask them, how many sales did you get last year, right? Just the same way as I do in, in uh, pickup and game, I say, how many girls did you sleep with in your lifetime? And then you factor in age and a bunch, you know some other factors. But it's important to track that stuff. Um, it kind of shows you how you're progressing in terms of your skill. So, you know, I have a graph that I made that kind of shows like the slope was kind of going like this and I made some key improvements. It was kind of going like this in terms of the amount of girls I was having sex with over time. And then it, it's kind of gotten to this like pretty, um, not vertical, but you know, pretty steep slope. Mm -hmm. And it's even gotten to the point, like I think from 2001, which is when I lost my virginity until I think 2012, that, that was like a hundred, my first 100 girls. And then in 2017, in the first five months, Less, less than the first five months, I was able to do 100, 100 right there. So it shows you it took me 12 years to do what I could now do in less than five months. And that, you know, you can plot your progress, you can see if you're stagnating, all that kind of stuff. And then in terms of, like, with the gym... Yeah, so one thing, one thing I really like is that j Mulv, he... We, we know that he has tons of success with the dating stuff. And one thing I really admire about him, because I've been working with him personally on a daily basis, is getting his health and fitness in check. So what I like is that, you know, getting laid and doing all that stuff, that's, you know, that's a lot of fun and everything. But he's actually internalized some, some important lessons. The most important one, this lesson of being a relentless tracker, he has applied that towards the gym, and he's gotten some really great results. So how's that been going, man? Yeah, so I started off at 195 pounds. I'm six foot four. I started off at 195 pounds January 1st, and I weighed in this afternoon at 225.3. Weight, you know, weight fluctuates throughout yeah. the day, but I'm right around like 223, 224 in the morning now. Um, so I'm up almost 30 pounds, and my body fat has gone from I started at 14 percent, and it's gone up to about 17.8 percent. So you know, almost 30 pounds with a 4% body fat increase, which Sonny says is pretty solid, so it's mostly muscle. Yeah. And then we're going to be cutting body fat come, what, early April? Yeah, probably April 7th, we're thinking. But I've tracked every single uh, rep, every single set, mm -hmm. and I have that all. I use Google Keep for that. It's basically the same thing as, like, Google Docs or whatever. Google Keep is just a notes app on your phone, and then you can look at it on your desktop as well as on your phone. And each new workout, I look at the previous workout, and then with Sonny's guidance, we move the weight up, or we attack like a different area to like, you know, based on my progression, like now we're focusing more on what, like the rear delts? Yeah, we're focusing on building that illusion. Bodybuilding, it is a, it is an illusion. So that's what we're focusing on. And, you know, specifically, um, we'll get into the details of his actual split, um, you know, later on uh, in the year. But his split now, we're specifically hammering you know that frame that width so you know day one sunday it's our shoulder and traps day 
and that's what's given him that monster width up top. You know, people were saying from his project pro progress picks um, that he's got monster traps. And yeah, we've been emphasizing that. We've also been emphasizing the delts, specifically the rear delts. And uh, yeah, just it's cool to know someone like J-Mov who is a relentless tracker and applies it towards all aspects. Uh, J-Mov, is there anything you'd like to add? Um, I mean, you, everything you know, it's just it's just turning things into like uh, like a numbers thing, right? Just yeah. it's turning into a quantitative analysis. So like, with gaining or losing weight, <coughs> you guys don't know already. I'm sure you talk about this all the time. Mm -hmm. You need to be 3,500 caloric surplus to gain a pound and 3,500 caloric deficit yeah. to lose a pound. So you know, if you were if you went as far as using something like My Fitness Pal, and you track your macros, and you factor in your basal metabolic rate and then your exercise of the day. You can literally, you know, shape things so that you're either losing or gaining weight. Um, but yeah, well, the reason why this is important is a lot of people, um, they just kind of wing it and they just hope for the best. So, you know, guys will go out in terms of like doing the dating and the pickup stuff. They don't really know how well they're doing from month to month other than just like thinking, oh, you know, I, I got a couple of girls a while ago, or whatever, or at the gym, you know, one of the mistakes that a lot of people make is they don't even, they don't track like how much yeah. calories they're getting, like how much, um, so a lot of people aren't eating enough when they're trying to put on muscle. Mm -hmm. They're they just don't, going through the motions. Yeah, they yeah. don't do the progressive overload, so they're not continuously stressing the muscle further and further. So kind of by, by tracking this stuff with business too, your business goals, you know, progressing how much you're making each month with businesses you start, all that stuff. It's important to, you know, set aggressive goals as well. Mm -hmm. We can touch on that really fast. Yeah. You know, so we're aiming for me personally, um, what I think we said about 230, 235. Mm -hmm. at, and we're almost up to that weight right now, but we need to cut the body fat, that'll drop my weight yeah. down. Um, we're aiming for about 10 to 12% body fat. And we're shooting for that by June, by the summer or so. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, and I, as kind of like a random uh, pickup goal to hit a thousand, right? Like it's not all about racking the numbers and stuff like that, but it's just kind of a byproduct of being good with chicks. Yeah. So yeah, uh, great point to end on right there. If you want to take one thing away from this video, it's to be anything you involve yourself in, any goals that you're attacking, any area of life that you're looking to improve, the number one way to get what you want is to become a relentless tracker, be a number cruncher, be someone who lives and dies by the numbers, and you'll you'll find out that it's 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 going to become very easy to accomplish what you're going for. But other than that, uh, be sure to stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe to the Strength by Sunny YouTube channel. And like I said, you know, I've said in previous videos that J-Mov and I are working together uh, to conduct these live lifestyle workshops. Um, if you're on the fence about this, I would strongly encourage you to email me at sunny.arvato at gmail.com because these programs, they are filling up fast and they really are a once in a lifetime thing. Um, if you've ever thought about working with J-Mov or ever thought about working with me in person, now's the time to do it because we're teaming up and we're working together and we are going to give anybody involved an experience unlike any other so yeah, that's want, it you want to say the cities again really fast yeah what are the cities real quick um okay so april 19th to the 21st we've got new york april 26th to the 28th we've got dc uh may 3rd through 5th we've got toronto canada mm -hmm. uh may 10th through 12th we've got raleigh north carolina and then may 17th through 19th we've yeah. got san diego california so um a lot of those are almost at capacity we're not going to really overload them so if you're interested in any of those locations uh email sunny as soon as possible and we will get in touch to go over the details yep so all right fellas take care talk to you soon later